Welcome back to my channel. So this video is another get ready with me slash makeup tutorial because I am going to an opening of a musical tonight here in LA. It's called La Cage au Full. It's a very fun and flamboyant musical and if you're a theater nerd like me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was also remade into a movie called The Birdcage starring Robin Williams and Nathan Lane. So in theme of the show, I wanted to create a bold yet wearable eye look incorporating blues. So if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. Eyes are primed and set and I actually used MAC Soft Ochre this time and I really liked it. I'm taking Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee, my holy grail transition shade and sweeping that over the crease. I'm using all Makeup Geek shadows in this video. I'm going to deepen the crease a little with the shade Tuscan Sun, focusing that on the outer part of the crease. Then I'm taking brownie points and putting that right below the first two crease shades, taking this all the way across the crease as well. I love using a MAC 217 brush for the crease because it really blends all the shadows together beautifully. And with a pencil brush, I'm deepening the outer V with Taboo. Make sure to keep it rounded on the edges. I'm also lightly blending the shade up into the crease. I hope you guys don't mind that I have my hair rollers in this video. Now you know how I get voluminous, bouncy hair. <laughs> Blending everything out even more with beaches and cream just around the edges of the crease. Then using the matte shade Sand Dollar to highlight the brow bone. Now for that beautiful blue shade, it's Makeup Geek's Foiled Shadow Center Stage and I'm using a small detailed flat brush to sweep it on my lid. Then I'm going back to the pencil brush and just blending the two shadows together. And then taking the brush with the shadow brownie points and again blending around the edges of the lid color. There's a lot of blending to do in this look. <laughs> now priming my face with Benefit's Pore Professional, my favorite holy grail primer of all time. And for my foundation, I love mixing Too Faced Born This Way foundation in porcelain and L'Oreal Infallible's foundation in shell beige together. It's the perfect formula for my skin. Everyone should definitely try it out. I'm also using a Real Techniques beauty sponge, which I really love. And then taking Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in Fair right under my eyes. Maybelline's Dark Circle Eraser in Fair down the bridge of my nose and then blending that all in with the sponge. Then I'm setting my under eyes with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder using the tip of the sponge. I'm not going to bake under the eyes because I find that it gets a little dry and cakey if I do. So I'm just gonna brush it away as soon as it sets. And then setting the rest of my face with Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. My camera stopped filming when I started doing my lower lash line. Ugh, I know. So what I did was I took the shade Fashion Addict and put it on the outer and inner part. Then took center stage on the middle. Blending it all out with the shade Toxic. And then highlighting my inner corner with Ice Queen. Then just add mascara and lashes. Before applying lashes, I did line my lash line with a little bit of black shadow, just so there's a little more definition and it'll hide the lash band a little more once the glue dries. For lashes, I'm using Ardell's Demi Wispies. 
And then on to contouring. I'm using Benefit's Hoola Bronzer. Don't forget to get your temples and hairline to create the illusion of a smaller forehead. Highlighting with Becca's Champagne Pop. I literally use this for every makeup look that I do. I kind of need recommendations for a new highlighter, so leave that down below. And then adding Makeup Geek's Secret Admirer Blush to the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to bake. This is something I've been doing only as of recently and I think it makes the cheek area so clean and sharp and I love that look. I like to wait five minutes before brushing it away. Some people wait longer, but that's just me. Setting my brows with Sugar Naturals Clear Brow Gel. Lining my lips with MAC's Strip Down Lip Liner using Crown's Georgia Peach Chubby Lip Pencil on top, and then adding NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie for that really glossy finish. And we are done. I really hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to comment and leave your requests down below. And remember, all products used will be listed in the description box as well. In a few seconds, you will see my outfit of the day for the event. The original play is set in the 70s, so it was definitely a Lacage inspired outfit with the bell bottoms, which are from LF. The shirt is by Save the Queen. The jacket is by All Saints. The tassel purse is from a boutique in the Philippines. And the shoes are Jeffrey Campbell. Oh, and I also dyed my hair purple on the ends. My hair lady did a great job. It's just, it's been three weeks, so it's a little faded, but I'm thinking about filming how she does my hair. If you guys want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and here are the red carpet photos. I actually went to support my friend and star of the show, Mr. John John Briones. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.